Knock, knock. Hey everyone, come on in to this luxury suite we're staying at. Let me give you a tour, but first let's get some natural light in. Come on. Hello, Purum. 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 All right, guys, we are staying in Purum, Nevada. Originally, we came here because we were going to head over to Death Valley National Park for their annual dark sky festivals. Unfortunately, today's events got canceled because of high winds, so we thought we'd make the best of it and venture out to see what Pahrump has to offer us. So first, let me give you a tour of our luxury suite. Here, we have a dinette perfect for two and a top-the-line espresso machine. We also brought a little surprise from Color Me Mind, but that's not going to be until later. If you walk over here, you'll see the state-of-the-art entertainment center with wow. this flat screen. This thing is like paper. <laughs> it is. And if you see here, look at this remote. I'm telling you guys, only in Pahrump. It even has a kitchenette. It has your own microwave and a mini fridge. Ooh, tell us what we got in here. We got some hummus, some water, some coconut milk uh, yogurt, flaxseed milk. We got potatoes, chicken salad, and some vegetable tray. And here we have our pet resort area of the room. And we have Prum's finest art on the walls. Ooh, look oh, at that. Over here too with the long exposure. Very cool. <laughs> All right, keep and going. Our next thing I'm gonna show you is our vanity area. That's a lovely for us to get ready in the morning. I'd call this more of an ensuite. I think this is pretty high tech. You know, this is pretty cool. Look at that, they got an ironing board. You know it's baller when they got blow dryer. <laughs> All this cool stuff. Obviously, this is where we poop. Don't worry about it. Okay. All right, guys. Next up is going to be our sleeping quarters over here. Don't worry. Puppy is not included. How would you rate the bed? We did sleep on it last night. What are your thoughts? Yes, we all slept on it, and I feel like I would rate it about four to five and a half. It was quite hard Out of and what? Firm. Out of ten? Out of ten, yes. Oh, wow. What would you rate it? A six. Oh, shit. <laughs> That was good. Okay, so it's very similar. What but are your gripes? What do you think it is lacking? It's too firm for my liking, but the pillows are really nice and fluffy. So I would definitely Ooh. give the pillows maybe like a seven. Okay, okay. Yeah. So it averages out to like a six. And also we have our own chair over here that people might call. A cut chair, <laughs> but it's also my pup chair. Ooh, look at, what is that? What is this piece of technology? A radio. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So we first came to Pahrump because we we're going to attend the Death Valley's National Sky Festival that they do every year. Unfortunately, the winds are going to be about 35 to 45 miles per hour with a gust of winds of 70 miles per hour. So we're going to enjoy Pahrump and see what it has to offer us and see if we can get to Death Valley tomorrow. All right, guys, Jared and I went a few weeks ago to do some Color Me Mine painting. If you're not familiar, you go, you pick up a clay sculpture, you paint it there and leave it, and they bake it for you and you pick it up a few weeks later. So Jared got ours probably like five years ago, and we didn't get to paint it until recently, so they didn't even think it would belong to them, you guys, because it had been so long. So let's see how they turned out. Yeah, basically they didn't recognize these sculptures. No. And this is our first oh time seeing them. Oh my gosh, look how good it looks. Wow, it looks way better wow. after it's been baked. You guys, I thought it was going to look really bad because I had to like spot check some areas. And if you paint over and over with different layers, it really stands out. So it looks a lot better than I expected. Look at that. I know, wow. it's so beautiful. I very love it. nice. All right, guys, I'm very eager to see Jerry's because when he went, he was on a mission to make his super abstract. So let's see how his turned out. Okay, very <laughs> exciting. And I got a sloth. I'm telling you guys right now because once I show you, you might not recognize what it is. But oh my goodness, I like it. You know, <laughs> I was a little bit nervous. I didn't know how this was going to turn out. But yeah, check it out. Oh my goodness, how cute! I thought this was blue. It's looking a little bit more purple, I guess, <laughs> after they bake it, a purple hue comes out. But yeah, so I just want it to look cool. I mean, to me, this looks like something they would find on Antiques Roadshow. And it's, the guy would be in shock when he saw it walk through the door. He would say, the second I saw you walk through it, that I knew I had to appraise it. <laughs> this thing's worth billions of dollars. But uh, yeah, so it's a sloth, very abstract. You can see the eyes, the nose. 
And I think the finishing touches that I put on that really brought it together were these little texture rubs. Because if I wouldn't have done that, it might have looked kind of weird. I think it looks so cool. But you know, I'm stoked on it. I'm excited to do another one. Yeah, leave in the comments, what should we name this sloth? Give it a name. (laughs) It is too cute. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess nothing left to do now but to go explore Pahrump and see what it has to offer us. Let's do it. Gosh, look at these guys. <laughs> They're so excited. Is that the wind? That's the wind. Oh my goodness. Or maybe not. Whoa. Yeah, it's the wind. <laughs> That's crazy. Ah! Ain't a few photos of the beautiful palm trees. They got everything here. I know. I feel like I'm looking around. They got video poker, darts, bowling. And I'm, everything. And I'm seeing something in the parking lot that I need to check out. What's that? You'll see. <laughs> Obviously, these things have seen better days, but I mean, look at that. It's so baller here. They just throw shit like this away. They got a NASCAR game. They got two of them. Okay, so I think we've explored the outside of the hotel sufficiently. Yes. They got a bunch of cool shit. Let's go do some hunting. Always on, on the, the hunt. hunt. And look at that super treasure hunt logo on the O. <laughs> Let's see what Perump has as far as Hot Wheels go. Let's do it. All right, so we are in Walmart in Perump. I got to yes. give it an A plus so far. It's looking amazing. Really well organized. Very well organized. Yeah. And we're going to see what they got as far as Hot Wheels. And I feel like I see Hunters oh already. Gosh. Sandy already with an amazing <laughs> find. What did you get? Is it Fuglers? Fugler or Fuglers? Fugler, what the hell is it? It's funny, ugly monsters. For $7.94, you can't one. beat it. They got tons of stuff here. This is dangerous. I feel like I'm watching a rare species in its natural habitat. I'm gonna be so disappointed if I don't find a chase. Yeah, but you found the Yoshi that you've never seen. Well, I've never seen it, but it's not special. Again, like I showed you guys before, you look at the back right here. We're looking for King's Hawaiian Rolls number six. King's Hawaiian Roll number six. Ooh, I don't know if that's the chase. The chase <laughs> is typically gonna have much brighter paint than that. Let's just say we found the chase, why not? They got a lot of character cars. Ooh, that's actually been hard to find for a lot of people. You guys are in Pahrump, they got the Porsche Transporter. Ooh, ghost face. Where? Right there. That's the one I use when I play Mario Kart. They got the Porsche set. Now in this set, there's one that's green that's considered the chase piece. It's very hard to find. If I could find that piece here, made the whole trip worth it. <laughs> Agave Acres. Oh, that cool. is really cool. This is going to be a bunch of crap. Yeah, I could already tell. This is a hotbed for hunters, everybody. There's hunters in Pahrump like I've never seen before. All right, let's get the actual shit we need to get. All right, let's go. All right, what are we looking for now? Plastic bowls. Uh, so that way we can eat our cereal and our food. We brought food because we're trying to eat healthier. We didn't want to get tempted to eat out, even though they have a Chipotle. We got our paper plates and our paper bowls. We're ready to get out of here. Dang, look at that. Woo! Peeps, peepsonality. So after some minor adjustments on the camera, I feel like the lighting is much better like much this. Much better, yes. Hopefully for the rest of the video, the lighting will be on par with high quality. Our apologies. Did it take the card? Are we okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm glad we got $8 in there. I just like how when you're filming, people are like trying to get out of the way so they're not in the shot. And I'm just walking away like, I do not know this person. Wow, the lighting is just so much better now <laughs> that I did that. I feel so stupid. I've been recording stuff for like three days with settings that I did that have just made everything look like shit. What are we doing now? Heading to Dollar Tree store. <laughs> Since I couldn't find anything of value at Walmart, we're going to Dollar Tree. Let's go in. Look at all these. This is actually one of my favorite castings right here. I have all of them, so I don't need any more. Word on the street is this car will go zero to 60 in less than a second. Whatever comes up. I don't think we're gonna find anything here. This is dangerous. <laughs> what do you have? Look how cute they use like these little uh, wall stickers. And then look, here's Believe. Ooh. And then for all the Office fans, that is so funny. <laughs> Very cool. So I think I'm gonna get some for like friends, kids, you know. Dollar Tree is so good. I wish my Dollar Tree was like this. I had to get something. <laughs> Who are we heading to next? Let's go to Death Valley. Let's do it. All right, guys. So we wanted to head to Death Valley yesterday, but the winds were too intense. So we stayed in town, hit up some bowling alley. What? 
and then we also played some slot machines. It was pretty fun. We really got to experience all of what Pahrump has to offer, which is pretty much bowling and slot machines, and it was a great time. It was a lot of fun. So this morning, we packed up our things and headed to Death Valley. The scenery on the way here, it was so pretty. The colors that the mountains have are just gorgeous. I highly recommend. But we're here at the Furnace Creek Welcome Center. We're going to let these dogs out, take them on a nice little walk, and then head into the Welcome Center to pick up the map, some cool souvenirs, and show you guys some footage of what they have inside. Show them yours. You got matching shirts. Can break down. He's making it happen. So I think this shows you on how we're like the water goes down as you see down here. See how the water comes down? Because that valley is known for its wildflowers that bloom. This is what it looks like in Death Valley. From, and then the glow is from the urban developments from outside of Death Valley. So this is what it looks like. Very cool. Little animals. Leave in the Welcome Center. Yes, it's quite windy, but not nearly as bad as yesterday. We're gonna go see some sights. Take the doggos on a little walk or so. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, so we're back in the car. We got the map. She's looking <laughs> through it. Where are you thinking about going first? I really want to go to Badwater. It's the lowest sea level ever in the state of California, I believe. And last year we went and it was so cold. So I thought it'd be fun to go again. And where is that on the map? It's all the way over here. <laughs> and where are we? Right here. So it doesn't it look that far. far. I mean, what is the scale looking like? I mean, <laughs> whatever that says, it looks like it's about an inch and a half per 10 miles. So maybe we've got about 10 miles to go. I think it's not going to be too long of a drive. Let's do it. Yeah. Pro tip, make sure you come to Furnace Creek with enough gas, you're gonna have to pay these kind of prices. So we're here at the Bad Water, what is it called? Bad Water Basin. And we're definitely putting these uh, mics to the test in this Whoa. wind. <laughs> See if these wind muffles things actually do anything. <laughs> this has to be the worst wind you could possibly film in, and except for a wind storm maybe. It's so strong. But yeah, so let's go take this little walk on the Bad Water Canyon. <laughs> It looks like the moon. It does. It's so cool. We are here at an informational plaque, and Sandy's going to tell us why it is called the Badwater Pool. It's called the Badwater uh, Basin because the person that was mapping this area could not get his mule to drink the water out of this area, so he called it the Badwater. <laughs> there it is. It's yeah. always about mules. There it is. All right, let's walk. Wow, I feel like we're on Interstellar. Have you ever seen Interstellar? I have not seen Interstellar, <laughs> but I've either. seen the commercials and the poster, and this is pretty much what it looks like. All right, guys, as you guys can see here, it looks like a lot of snow, like we're walking on snow, but it's actually salt. It gets layered on top of each other, and it appears like snow. All right, so that was a fun little walk, but now we are headed back. Yes, on to the next adventure of the Death Valley. Let's do it. We just left the Badwater Basin. It was so cool, a lot muddier than I last remember it, but we are now headed to another area called the Artist Palette, where the mountains have like beautiful colors on them. So I'm excited for you guys to take a look at that. Whoa. So we are officially in the Artist Palette. It's so cool. I'm already seeing green all over the rocks. What about you? What are you seeing? It's a lot of pink a lot of whites, browns, and it's more of a drive. This isn't something that you just walk around in. There is like a little hike you could take to get a scenic overview. And hopefully we'll be able to get out there and uh, walk the dogs a little bit and get a closer look to them. So let's see. All right, so now what? We're walking out to the actual rock, right? Yes, let's go walk out. If you see from the distance, it's uh, you can see all the colors. It's spread out throughout this drive, but I think this is like the larger 
majority of the different colors. Now, hopefully your mind is blown away like ours by these beautiful colors on these mountains, but we're heading out and next we're gonna go to the sand dunes, which I'm pretty stoked about to take you guys. Nice. The artist palette might be my favorite part of Death Valley. If it wasn't for the winds, I would be down to stay there all day. It's so majestic and beautiful. Did you like it? I loved it. It's, it's one of my favorite parts of Death Valley as well. With all the wind though, it'll dry out very quick. One of the reasons it's called Death Valley is because of the dryness content. So pro tip, make sure if you come here, you always stay hydrated. Bring plenty of water. Yes. All right, next is the sand dunes. So we're here in the sand dunes. It's a little walk to get to the actual sand dunes, but this area is like the darkest area of Death Valley and it's perfect for astrophotography. Usually for the Dark Sky Festival, they do a astrophotography session with park rangers and with other astrophotographers. So that's what we did last year. Unfortunately, it was canceled this year, but it is so perfect. The sky is beautiful. There's a great big mountain nearby. So you can even have that in your photos as a background. Very cool. And yeah. you have to bring these red lights because if you bring a regular flashlight to see it like obstructs the light pollution. And I remember last year <laughs> I had to find one of the instructors to help Sandy out and I ended up walking in front of like five people's photos and I felt so <laughs> bad about it because it takes in like an hour or so to set up for these things. Then you got to get all your settings right. So it's actually very cool to see this during the day. I hadn't seen it during the day yet. Yes. And I wouldn't want to say last year you weren't feeling good. So I don't even think we really ventured out too long during the day out here. And this time of the day is perfect because the sun's not hot. It's about to go down in maybe 40 minutes. So it's really beautiful. This, the wind is not crazy here. So it's so cool how in different sections of Death Valley, the wind is completely different. And there's so many different types of landscape. Yes. We go from salt and mud to this. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. From salt, mud, mountains to this. So you guys, I lost Jared somewhere. Just kidding. I think he's right there so up oh, right there um but i was telling jared that every time i think about the sand dooms i always think about aladdin when he has to go find the cave of wonder and i believe they go into the sand dooms and then the cave opens up there just a fun little story i thought i'd share with you guys but it's so beautiful here there he is found him or he found me i'm here <laughs> I believe the biggest one is just straight out there. It's like over a mile wide. It's like crazy huge. But yeah, this is the sand dunes. And there's the big mountain where you'll be able to see when you take photos at night. Maybe we'll insert some that I took last year. So I think that's going to do it for the sand dunes. I also think, is that going to do it for this video? We're losing light, you guys. There's so many more other things that you could see in Death Valley. And maybe we'll make another video showing you guys that part. But yes. It, you know what's great about Death Valley is you don't need to be a magical key holder to come here whenever you want <laughs> or make reservations. You could just come here. So if you live in California, I recommend going. And if you come here during the Dark Night Festival, you'll meet people from numerous countries. Yes. I mean, people come from all over the world to experience this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.